Mike Hamilton here. So the number one four wheel drive vehicle for dependability, reliability, and capability ever built by humans in the history of all four wheel drive vehicles that's off the shelf built that you could have just bought from a store. I have now in my own fleet. Behind me, I have a 1994 FJ80 triple locked Land Cruiser. I'll be right back. Well, we are over here at Micro in Suites, and we had a had a road emergency. So you look at the fender caps over here, and then boom, right there. How blown this tire is here. Suites, and we had a had a road emergency. So you look at the fender caps over here, and then boom, right there, and then the other one over here. So this guy who had this thing, I just don't think he had much money, and he, and well, he wasn't driving this much, but he put these recaps on him. And I thought I could just at least limp that home and, and then change them when I got home. Well, I was wrong. So, if you can see, this is a brand spanking new tire, although it is a recap too. And so I started feeling this vibration, which I thought was something that was going on from this, the, high, the heavy tread. And this thing catastrophically blew. This tire blew out. 35 miles from Klamath Falls out in the uh, out in the sticks so we were stuck 
And I got to say thank you to Oregon uh, uh, State, the state of Oregon uh, Park Ranger. I would like to get her name. She was such a help. She was in her office. She had a kid that was sick or something. So she came in and do her, did her job later today at this campgrounds. And most of it shut down because there was a fire in 2020. She was doing her stuff. She was in this office when she would have been off way earlier in that Knocked on the window. I had no cell phone reception. Well, although we had our other truck, my my uh, 19 Ram Rebel. Um, and anyways, we were able to call the tow truck out because I didn't have the jack tools to lift it up. I did it. I was able to break the lug nuts, but I didn't have enough jack to get up, lift this thing up. So, anyways, we are spending the night now here in here in uh, Klamath Falls. And then I'm going to go to Les Schwab, which is just right around the corner tomorrow and get some new tires, four new tires on this vehicle. Put that one back as a spare and then put the new tire on the blown one there. And then we'll, and then get this thing in the shop and start working on it when I get back to Reading. So here we are at the uh, hotel about half a mile from Les Schwab. Just waiting for them to open at 7.39. They're opening up at 8 o'clock to go get a set of 40 tires for this um, for this 94 Land Cruiser. The girlfriend's downstairs going to get some coffee. And then, uh, anyways, impromptu stay over at, in Klamath Falls. And, uh, anyways, take that last... last trip back to the house we gotta fill up and then go home and uh, get this thing in the shop so we are over here at Les Schwab tires in Klamath Falls and uh, putting the tires on new tires good tires so I got these Ma Max's tires Kevlar sidewall reinforced a brand that the uh, I think Les Wap carries, but good quality uh, uh, mud terrain, snow rated, like fairly decent tread. That's gonna not be too loud on the highway, but there's your damage. So, a little miss, he doesn't miss communication. They took my good spare off and, and not the uh, not the blowout, and so I'm gonna kind of get the good spare back on the on the uh, rim, that's not the good rim. Um, the rim, one rim's kind of tore up, the other rim's in nice shape. So they're gonna fix that. Oh, let's take a look at these brakes away we're at. Uh, these, I'm gonna need brakes. Uh -oh. So, oh, four wheel disc. So I thought it was drums in the back, so that's nice. We'll get the, we're gonna have to dress all this stuff. So many things gonna have to get work on just the drivability of this thing and then do the little things over time but oil leaks water leaks air conditioning and then start working on all the other drivability stuff but, but uh do the last trip last part of going home these guys are busting it out doing a good job so anyways Probably gonna leave the uh, rear seats out for good, so so I can have a camping storage in here, and then eventually have these these uh, the middle row and the uh, front reupholstered and refixed, fixed up. Fran shroud in here for the it's got a aftermarket uh, radiator in it. And then, man, yeah, let's take a look at this, uh, how blown, which kick the acorns around. Six lug, that's good. Yeah, blown this tire is here. There you go. Final leg to get home and then take it into the
only 478 miles. It's probably about three more miles than that. Finally made it to the shop where I work, at Lithia Toyota. Let's back this out. Rob Perdicio. Perdicio is going to be taking care of this. I'm just going to start getting this, um, getting this thing fixed. Oh, God, it's so hot. It's like probably 112. No air conditioning in this thing. It was like pretty much the guy that the guy that had this didn't like fix anything. It's like this broke, he just drove it still. But testament to a Toyota. You know, like that, especially these land cruisers are super overbuilt. But many, many, many things need to get addressed. And now that's just broke because of that blowout that I had. Uh, we had back in uh I'm back in over the 35 miles outside of Klamath Falls, counting the sticks. Well, I had a three-day adventure to get her home. Blew out a tire that blew this up here. Uh, got some brand new tires on from Les Schwab. Um, but uh, this is the holy grail here. This is the uh, three years of Land Cruisers. That was, and also I will include the Lexus uh, uh, LX450 uh, for a couple of those years, but the triple locked straight axles, front and rear, built like a tank, engine is bulletproof as anything, could go six, seven hundred thousand miles before it needs a major overhaul or rebuild. Um, some go over a million miles. Um, I mean, I need to do a lot of work to this thing. But I just drove this thing damn near 500 miles and it drove like a champ. I mean, it's got some minor things going on with it, but um, it's expected for the money I paid for this. So I got this for $97.50. Usually ones uh, that are just slightly better than this go for closer to eighteen to 20000 Ones that are pretty nice could go up into the 30s and stuff so that gets really built. Sky's the limit. You know, they could go 40s, 50s. And if you're talking about Icon and TLC brand, um, they could get into hundreds of thousands of dollars, like, and even all the way up to uh, Joe Rogan was something around the half million dollar mark. I mean, I'm not going to put a General Motors in, engine in mine. That'd be sacrilegious. If anything, I want to do is boost the power of this. I would either just put the TRD supercharger that's available to this vehicle in it. Um, but man, this is this is it. This is the one. This is the the most off road most reliable most off-road capable vehicle that's ever been built by a manufacturer that was bought that you could buy right off the shelf and take it serious off-roading right out of the box and uh you know i know some nice uh, jeep rubicons man go look at some of the videos of uh of trail mater rescuing these things off the rocks they break their stuff like nothing it's not they're not built they're not they can't handle the stuff that this thing can handle. As this thing is a, as, as a stock vehicle, this thing can handle way more. It's just so much more beef here. This thing's built like a tank. So, and, uh, and also, it just, uh, just has more capability, period. So, um, and man, it's just too bad Toyota doesn't see the benefit of building these things like this anymore. Toyota's uh, kind of like, well, not just Toyota, but Japanese culture is to never look back and to always move forward. And it's, too, it's just a sad thing that basically Land Cruiser turned into more of a luxury wagon to uh, get kids to school in the morning for, uh, um, for uh, people, for rich people, than uh, the, the 200 series and then now 300 series going to other countries because we don't get the 300 series. But you can still technically get that as the LX600. And, uh, you know, it's a six-figure vehicle, uh, but it's no longer this incredible off-road monster and utilitarian just just built to last it's like a tractor engine man it just runs and runs and runs and runs and runs and uh and just does what it does and, yeah, and uh that's why i got it man and i'm gonna fix her up and i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna put new life in her i'm gonna make her better than new when i get through with all this stuff i already got Many thousands of dollars we're going to invest in this thing to start with, uh, and then I'm going to build it up over the years. We're going to get, get camping tents and racks and shelving and and, uh, and all kinds of skid plates and uh, and fix up all the the little minor things first and uh, lift it up two and a half inches, put 35s on her, and 
Uh, I'm gonna do the rear swing out bar for the tire mount in the back, um, winches and all the good stuff. Uh, that's all coming, lights and all the features. But uh, anyways, uh, this can be my baby, man. My baby's gonna, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna build this thing and then when we get done with this thing, it's gonna be better than it was when it's brand new.